Words cannot describe what I feel when I see what is happening in Ukraine. Uh, my father is also fighting, so the topic is very, very personal, very emotional. My name is Rima. I am a Ukrainian national from Kiev. I've been living in the UK for six years. I've been working for Tunbridge Wells Borough Council in Kent, supporting the Homes for Ukraine scheme, and I'm also a host myself as well. There is definitely uh, what is called the survivor's guilt. And the only way you can make up for it is by doing anything you can with what you've got. So the way I make up for it is through working, supporting Ukrainians, donating to the army. And that kind of makes sense to me. My war is here. The scheme will allow Ukrainians with no family ties to the UK to be sponsored by individuals or organizations who can offer them a home. So the beginning was a lot about uh, Ukrainians coming into Tunbridge Wells and just that initial information, getting them registered, benefits, how can they get around, schools for children. None of us thought that this would uh, last for this long, which is why the UK government probably announced the Homes for Ukraine scheme and asked for hosts to open their homes for the initial six months. That's been and gone now. The cost of living crisis has affected the hosts. There are people that have been put into positions to say, we would love to host you longer, but it's just not sustainable for us. The challenges now are all about housing, finding either a new host or going into private rental, or if that's not an option, going into temporary accommodation. Ukrainians didn't run away from poverty or dependence, they ran away from war. I've got solicitors who are serving coffee. I've got HR managers who are washing the dishes in local pubs. They are not afraid to work. They will put themselves to work and gain independence for themselves and their families. The session today was beneficial in that I got to hear the experience of my colleagues. I felt listened to. I felt um, that they wanted to hear what we had to say. There are two points that um, I am taking away. Mental health needs to be addressed uh, more systemically. And the other thing is one way of supporting people into private rentals is by incentivizing the landlords to accept Ukrainians as tenants. I just want to say thank you to the UK people. Um, opening your home up and letting people in, people you don't know, supporting the people in, in all the many ways that you have has been heartwarming, has given me hope that there is good in this world and that uh, life will win over death. <laughs>